Okay. Hello. This is live. I'm gonna wait a few minutes so that people start coming in this live chat. TGPC, I'm doing great. I'm gonna wait for a few more seconds so that I can have all my friends and the entire TGPC community to come live. Congratulations on winning the Tiara Queen by TGPC for August 2017. Thank you so much, the great pageant community. Aditi Pele, hi. Hifsa Qureshi says, how are you? I'm good, Hifsa. Alright, so I'm gonna start with introducing myself because I'm fairly new to this community and I think that I should, like the community and I should have like a good relationship now that I'm a part of it. So thank you TGPC for giving me this opportunity. So my name is Shannon and I am this month's winner for the Tiara Queen by TGPC. I am an engineering student currently studying in my final year. I study electronics. I am also a national level archer. I have also represented my state in throw ball. I so fun fact about me is that I love traveling a lot more than anything in the world and I'm really passionate about traveling I think it's something that I really look forward to in life it's my goal to have friends in every country of the world um, my hobbies are I love dancing painting listening to music um, more like adventurous kind of a person so i keep going on treks backpacking i take solo trips to like a lot of cities by myself um kind of quite often so yeah that's a little bit about me so now let me see i'm getting a lot of questions here um okay sorry i'm so new to this Uh, Bo Bosa Bisabo, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, I'm sorry if I don't. Uh, you're the actress or not? Uh, no, I'm not the actress. <laughs> um, Aditya Pillai says, how is, to, how is it to finally win the crown, the Tiara Queen by TGPC? Oh my god, Aditya and everyone, I can't tell you how thrilled and excited I am to win this crown. So. I got into pageants because I think it's a great opportunity for young girls like me who have a lot of dreams to pursue and you know who look forward to, uh, to something and winning crowns like Tiara Queen by DGPC is like you know you feel very close to where you want to reach your goals so yeah it feels really great to win this crown to be a winner after I've been trying quite uh, like this was my third attempt at this pageant so but you know I've learned from my mistakes from all the feedback from Ritika ma'am especially I thank you so much because she has literally groomed me and made me from like an average person to a winner today so yeah um, 
the great pageant community says how was the feeling when you were announced the winner i honestly did not expect to win because um i was there for the one week course and it was a very hectic schedule and i don't know my mind was all over the place because i was literally juggling between my college life and you know pageants so i really did not have like the feeling that you know i'm going to win but when my name was announced i'm like oh my god is it really me and um, but yeah like i was i don't know i was like on cloud 9 at that moment to find out that i'm a winner all right bosa basabu did you ever visit thailand oh my god yes i visited thailand i uh, i love your country uh, i went to bangkok in the month of jan i was backpacking there so i did quite a few places so i find bangkok really interesting in fact thai cuisine is like one of my favorite cuisines so i think i keep coming to thailand whenever it's possible because um, it's an amazing country and great culture love the vibe there so yeah nice to meet you um let's see here uh the great fashion community asked uh, what do you think is the best thing about beauty pageants uh according to me beauty pageants are a platform you know it's something that you know that gives young women the opportunity to voice to stand up to feel confident to feel beautiful i think beauty pageants or any other feel in that matter is the same thing because it really teaches you hard work determination and uh, the the values that you need in life to develop yourself to become a better person and beauty pageants are one such thing that you know they're shaping me into making me a really good person from within and from outside as well you know things like staying fit and everything so i think that is the beauty of beauty passions itself so it's one of the good things that happened to me uh bosa basbu again asked me where i'm from i'm from mumbai i was born and brought up in mumbai and Yeah, I still continue to live here, but my mind keeps wandering all over the world. Um, will I be in Bollywood? Uh, if given the opportunity, yeah, why not? I mean, I never say no to good opportunities in life, and Bollywood or anything for that matter. Yes, it's um, the great ca- fashion community. Has tell me something about your mentor, Ritika Ma'am. Oh my God, Ritika Ma'am. I don't know if you're here, but you probably will see this later. I can't tell you how much I love you and adore you because you are that one person who has changed my life completely. Like if I look back at myself uh, before the day I met Ritika Ma'am, I was a lost, a lost puppy. Like. someone lost in the ocean when i came to the tiara for the first time it was a one week course that i did with pratika ma'am and after that course after that everything my life has drastically changed because she has some kind of magic or i don't know like it's i can't put it in words exactly because ma'am has been a really strong person in my life who like you know you just look at her follow her observe her, and there's so much to learn every day each time i go back to the tiara i learn so much i take back a lot with me and i think that is the beauty of ma'am like she has that magic in her to turn anybody into somebody and I love her for that. Thank you so so much ma'am. I don't know if I have enough words to describe her to praise her or anything because whatever I say will always be less because she is just a gem of a person. I love you so much. Uh Aditi Pillai asked according to you what are the five wardrobe essentials every girl should have? Um being a pageant girl i would answer this in a pageant way every every girl should have um a pair of stilettos because you cannot function 
or your life cannot move on if you do not have a pair of stilettos because they don't just make you look tall but they'll make you feel sexy as well so yeah and i think a pair of denim shorts is something that i like to keep in my wardrobe um uh and you can't go wrong with the little black dress so that's another thing you should have in your wardrobe like that's a must have in your wardrobe and also like a nice white crush shirt so i'm a very white person and i like having so i'm wearing white as well so you can never go wrong with a white shirt and so that is one thing you can keep in your wardrobe and last but not the least i think accessories because no matter what you wear if you haven't accessorized yourself well i think your look will always be incomplete so yeah i think these are the five essential things every girl must have in their wardrobe apart from all the other things uh what is your beauty mantra uh so my beauty mantra is to stay calm and be happy i think uh if you are calm inside and you feel good inside you reflect that on the outside and that is the one mantra i stick to all throughout my passions whenever i participate because the moment i feel um anything not happy or not confident it just reflects on my face so you know it's always good to be calm stay calm stay focused and love yourself and i think that is the best beauty mantra anyone should ever follow or have so yep uh bosa besabu asks do you do you want to be miss universe pageant soon uh yes I want to in fact I am planning to audition this month as well so I hope I do well good luck to me <laughs> um Aditya Pillai's choose one miss world or miss universe um if I had to choose one of this is a tricky one but if I had to go for one I think I would go for miss universe because it stands for being confidently beautiful and I think it's one of the most essential things that a girl must carry because each and every one is beautiful but knowing that you're confident enough to carry that beauty with pride and with happiness that lies in miss universe um my favorite miss universe has ever been was shashmita sen and i think she's such an inspiration to all the young girls out there someone recently told me um a fact about what happened in miss world i think it was 94 uh it was then when shashmita sen went for the pageant and she heard that ashwara rai was going to participate in it and she went back home thinking that you know it's she's not going to win it because i should arise such a strong competitor and she's not going to make it so she went back home and what happened was her mom uh told her that you know you have you're a loser how could you quit even before you started and the next day she made her go back to the auditions and uh she gave the auditions and look what happened she won against ashwara rai she in win won internationally and that is such a beautiful talent itself like having that personality that she carries off so confidently so beautifully is something that i look up to so yeah this universe it is to me miss world is amazing too but if i had to choose given an option miss universe Uh, the great fashion community asked, "Can you share us your winning answer?" Oh, all right. So, ah, uh, my final question that was asked uh, to the top six was, uh, "Are you a giver or a taker?" So, my answer was, "I am a giver. Giver because it gives me joy and happiness to give away something that I have. Because seeing that smile on someone's face." or bringing happiness into someone's life or bringing even the slightest change into someone's life gives me happiness and that is what i take from that person and i believe in the principle that when you know you should live your life as if you know you should find what you want live it let it consume you only to give it out to others and that is why i believe that i'm a giver uh 
Ashwini Ashwini Rangari Rangari if I'm right. Uh, uh, says hello Shannon congratulations to you can you share your future plans oh thank you so much Ashwini uh, well my future plans I'm a very spontaneous person but whatever lies in my future is definitely related to travel I really want to travel the world uh, in the future if I could see through beauty pageants it would be uh, probably hosting a travel show that is what I want out of beauty pageant at least. Um, if not that, then plan B set to be a pilot. Go for an aviation course, be pilot and fly around the world. So yeah, I know they're like poles apart, but I think um, that's what lies in my future because I'm very passionate about traveling. So irrespective, I am. I'll be. I will be traveling. All right. So Aditi Pillai asked again, uh, what is your piece of advice to the young people who lack confidence for joining beauty pageants? I think uh, a very a very common advice that I give to everyone because uh, not just me because I have this constant reminder to myself and I always share this with others as well is that love yourself. It's because that we do not love ourselves enough, we are not confident beings. Confidence does not come that easily. It's when you start loving yourself, love every flaw, love every body part, love yourself in and out, and your confidence will just reflect. The moment you start loving yourself, you will be confidently beautiful, and I swear by it. Okay, Shraddha Shashidar asks, what made you gain the confidence that you have today? Did you work on it or was it built? Um, I wouldn't say it was built in. I was a very, I wasn't a very extrovert child, but as I hit puberty, I think every girl grows through this. We go in some sort of a bubble that uh, we like to stay protected in and not go out of it. So it was, uh, I think uh, when I was around, 19 or 8, 18, 19 is when I realized that I need to step out of my bubble. It's when I heard this TED talk um, and they said that, you know, you, it's, it's about getting out of your shell, getting out of your bubble because only when you get out of your bubble, you will um, realize your true potentials. You will understand yourself better and to get out of the bubble, I put myself into situations which I wouldn't like in other ways so I started traveling I started to travel by myself I did an exchange program in Istanbul last year I was teaching high school students English and Indian culture and it, it was a very different uh, life for me there because people would not speak my language people had their own language their own culture I was away from family for two months and that's when I realized that oh, like where what I am where I stand and what I need to work on and it just slowly keep building up I became more self-aware and because when I became when I started to get more self-aware I think uh, that started making me more confident so every time when I set out I always uh, think that it is good to know more about yourself and when you do that you know how to handle yourself and portray yourself in the way that you want so yeah that is something that I worked on today uh, okay hey Shrishti thank you so much uh, the, uh, DGPC asked are you a beauty with a lot of brains or all brains with some beauty oh tricky uh, I think I am all brains with some beauty I won't be all self Fraser but if given the chance to choose beauty and brains I would definitely choose brains because beauty is something that will not last you forever but brains will always last like brain will be with you till the end of time like till you die so and yeah so I think I'm all brains with some beauty but I still think I'm beautiful uh, Aditi Pillai asks, share with us something that most people don't know about you. Okay, <laughs> so um, 
something that most people don't know about me. Actually, I'm an open book. So if you are around me or if you hang out with me, you probably realize how how naive and stupid I am. Okay, I wouldn't say stupid. That's a very strong word. But I'm a very fun person. I don't come off as a very fun person. I've got that a lot. But if you're around me, I just keep cracking a lot of jokes. I'm a very like a lame sort of joke. That's what my friends say. And yeah i think most people don't know that about me so yeah that's one thing uh so aditi pele asked uh, one word that describes your personality one word that describes your personality i think it's dynamic because i have had I've been exposed in life to a lot of things like uh, be it any field and so having a little experience a little knowledge from everything from around the world I think that just built up my personality sort of and made me a dynamic person that I am today TGPC asked if you win Miss Diva and got a golden chance to represent India, uh, how will you describe your country to the fellow contestants at Miss Universe? Oh, okay, fingers crossed because that is my dream to represent India internationally at Miss Universe. Um, if I had to, I was actually given this chance to describe my country at my exchange program where I was representing India with a lot of people from around the world. They were working around 19 countries where I was working with. Uh, but if given a chance to describe my country, I would say it's, um, it's a blend of cultures and it's, it's like... A, Holi, actually a lot of people know Holi, so I would just describe my country as Holi because there are so many people from different cultures, from different uh, parts of the country who speak different languages. It feels like you're in a different country the moment you step into another state, knowing that you cannot communicate in Tamil, Telugu because they all have their different languages. So yeah, I would say like my country is a very culturally rich and a uh, very it has it has rich culture and a very i think happening country because people love the fact that uh, we are all uh, so energetic so diverse in every way uh, but still living together you know under one country uh, not many countries can do that so yeah that's one thing i would like to describe my country as uh, I, Aditya Pillay says, if you could jump into a pool full of something, what would it be? <laughs> a pool full of something. I would probably jump in a pool full of Nutella because I love Nutella and knowing that I have to stay fit and I cannot have Nutella all the time, I have literally given up on Nutella. So if given a chance, I would just like to jump in a tub full of Nutella and I don't know, just lick it and enjoy it all day <laughs> that would be some kind of fantasy of mine um tgpc asks other than india which country would you like to represent and why okay this is a very interesting question so i would love to visit uh represent uh turkey i call it my second home because i live there and i've understood the culture and language as well meraba <laughs> so means hi to everyone and uh, so yes i would love to represent Toki because uh, that country was is something that changed my life in a certain way it gave me a different perspective to life and i feel more turkish than i am that as i am indian so yeah i would represent Toki. <laughs> Aditi Pele says, what have you learned from your co-contestants? Oh, so my co I've, the best part about beauty passions is that you get to meet so many people from around your country where I think no school or no institution has that many, has that much diversity as much as beauty pageants do. So every time I contest in a pageant or I meet someone of the same, it's always from another state, another city, and all of them are have different cultures, different ideas and opinions of their own 
and it it feels really nice to have a very good conversation with them so through them i get to learn a lot of things um about how they are how they grow how they be and everything so uh yeah and the best part is that sometimes you never know you just happen to find a friend in them you never know how similar you two can be so there's so much to learn from them actually but yeah this is one of the things that i learned aditi pale asked what does my name mean okay so my name means the wise one <laughs> that's probably uh, that's probably why i chose um, brains over beauty <laughs> Uh yeah so that's what my name and I love my name actually so it's thanks to my parents who named me Uh Aditi Pillai asked if you could live in a book a TV show or a movie what would it be Okay so growing up I have always read Princess Diaries and that is one it's a book which is made into a TV show so I would love to be Mia Thermopolis because of her I am so drawn into pageants ever since I was young. I always wanted to be a princess, be it a Disney princess, but yeah, Princess Darius is something that I still hope that one day I'll have like a secret life wherein I get discovered that I'm a princess and I get to live a royal life. So, yeah, that's a that's a fan- fantasy of mine. So, <laughs> Yeah. Uh Rohan Thapa asked me who is your inspiration? Uh I think my inspiration is myself because as a person who has learned everything from things that from things around me, I'm a very observant person, so I like to observe a lot of things. So um I think I take myself as an inspiration because each day I strive to be a better person than I was yesterday. So I always evaluate what I've done in a day and how I've done in a day. I have I been productive enough and if I've not, I realize and I start to be better than I was tomorrow. So uh yeah, that is something that I look forward to. Would you rather win an Olympic medal and Oscar? or the nobel peace prize i think being a sports person i would win the olympic medal yes that is that has always uh, been like a dream but knowing the fact that there's so much of efforts and hard work that you have to go through for winning an olympic medal it's not like i still have a lot of time to do that so probably will definitely try to win an olympic medal for india in archery because that's my sport i play archery uh aina shukla what diet and exercise you go through in your daily life please share oh so hi aina um i i i'm i'm not a foodie person but there's one thing that i binge on is fruits because i love fruits so no matter what i'll always be binging on fruits rather than junk i am not a junk food person i don't know why but given a a chance to have fruits or burgers or something i would choose fruits because i don't know they just make me happy <laughs> uh so an exercise i go to the gym regularly i make sure that if not gym then some kind of uh exercise like a brisk walk or go for a run uh something like that but like something that keeps me fit you know and active because i do not prefer a sedentary lifestyle it makes me very moody so being uh, like i was always into sports so since i was i think 10 so or even younger than that so it always pushed me to like work exercise play basketball go out on weekends cycle so i've always done that since i was young and that is why i keep doing it so i need to have some kind of physical activity uh, every day otherwise it's just like my day is not complete without a physical activity and i think that is how i go through my daily life aditi pillai says if you could be fire or water what would you choose and why um if i could be fire or water can i be air <laughs> so um no i ch- i it's actually because i watched the movie airbender recently and i i kind of like um 
air as the element so I think I probably go with air so I think there are so many questions I probably uh, just a lot of questions coming in but I think my time's up I've been given 15 minutes to speak to you guys but I think I will answer all of your uh, questions in the the comment section but thank you so much everyone for coming in and joining in it feels great and thank you tgpc for giving me this opportunity uh, uh, so thank you so much and have a good day bye